Hey guys, welcome back to Tom's Tech Chat. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I did start a new job. Um, I was hired as an IT support engineer at Amazon and I am so excited about the role. It's been about six months. I really enjoy it. So what I wanted to do for you guys was to kind of give a video just going over um, a little bit of my experience getting hired, um, some just general interview tips if you do interview at Amazon. Um, and uh, just some insight into how I leveraged my background in help desk to this more advanced role. So let's get started. So first, just to get some general so that I don't get fired housekeeping out of the way. One, the opinions stated in this video do not reflect the opinions of my employer. Two, I did sign an NDA, so I cannot give any specific interview questions or anything about the interview process that's not public information, but I do still have a lot of my own personal experience and just general tips that will be helpful if you are going for this role. So all my background, um, so if you are familiar with my channel, I did work primarily in help desk. So I really had to leverage anything that I did do in my help desk role that went kind of above and beyond. So any times that I assisted with training, any projects that I helped on, that's a major one. If you do have any projects that you've worked on um, in your experience, anytime you can show experience leading a project, definitely make sure that you write those down and you have those examples handy for your interview. Um, also, I made sure to leverage my customer service experience. Amazon is a very customer centric uh, company. So for the IT department, our customer is operations, the people actually working in the warehouse, making sure those packages are getting processed and their management. So we definitely still are a customer centric uh, role. So you wanna make sure that you can emphasize your ability to work well with people, your ability to have strong customer service skills because that is very important for this job um, in terms of soft skills. Um, in terms of technical skills, if you review uh, the job posting for the support engineer position, you're going to see different things listed on there. Um, any technical skills listed on that job posting are fair game for the interview. So that's what you want to touch up on. In terms of the actual, actual interview process, it is a long process. You do have a lot of interviews. Um, you do have to tell a lot of stories. Definitely don't want to keep repeating the same things with different interviewers because then it shows that you don't have that much experience. Um, so along with going through the job posting and making sure that you have stories for each bullet point or trying to, um, you also want to go through Amazon's leadership principles. Um, it's available on their website. When you do get invited for an interview, they also send you a link where you can go look at their leadership principles. You want to know those things by heart. Um, same thing, I went through the leadership principles for each leadership principle. I tried to have at least two stories to demonstrate that leadership principle. So that way I wasn't caught off guard during the interviews at all. Um, and that definitely came in handy. I definitely needed those stories. So you will too. So that's something that I definitely recommend um, doing before your interview. Um, also in terms of just making it to the interview process, uh, when you are applying, um, if you are still just in the application stage when you are looking at this uh, video, I definitely would suggest trying to get a referral if you can. So that's where you want to work your network, uh, reach out to people that you may know that are working at Amazon, especially in a technical capacity or a recruiter capacity to try to get a referral. I will be making a video soon just showing how I network and how I was able to network to get those referrals. Um, and so that will be coming out soon. I will link it here when I have that ready. So definitely keep an eye out for that because that is a skill that you definitely want to hone, even if not just for this role, but for multiple roles, you wanna be able to know how to reach out to people, how to network and get referrals. And I will not lie, Amazon's interview process is pretty intense. The technical interview, you definitely need to know your stuff. Um, so definitely do spend some time reviewing material before your interview just to make sure because sometimes you do know the information You just haven't touched it in a while and they do cover a broad um, Net of areas. So just do some refreshers So that way when you do have to speak on a technical topic, you sound like you know what you're talking about um, Try to make sure that you are explaining technical concepts in your own words that, to show that you actually know what you're talking about, that you aren't just quoting a textbook definition. That will definitely get you bonus points during the interview and help you to stand out to your interviewer. Also for those stories for your star interviews or for those um, behavioral based interviews, don't make up stories. Um, honestly, if you make up stories, they do keep asking you more questions about the story. And it is very easy to figure out if the story is fake or if it's real. Um, so try to have legitimate experiences, go deep in your job history, really think so that you can have 
real stories that you can speak to so that way you don't have anything that's going to make you flustered during the interview. It's a stressful experience already. Um, don't make it harder on yourself than it needs to be. Also in terms of preparation, Holly Lee on YouTube, her videos were so, so helpful. If you are going to be interviewing at Amazon in any capacity, honestly, I highly suggest going through her videos. She used to be a recruiter for them and her videos were very helpful for the behavioral interviews and for knowing what to expect. Uh, when going into those. Overall, my interview process was very quick um, from application to offer letter. I believe it was about a month. Um, so everything did move very quickly, but of course that experience can vary depending on your market, um, the time of year that you're applying, how many applicants they have. So don't get worried if your process doesn't go as quickly, but I will say Amazon does try to make the interview process um, quicker than normal. Um, so that you aren't stuck waiting. Um, same thing, as I said, every department has a customer. When it comes to hiring, the uh, people interviewing are the customer for the recruiter. So they try to keep you in the loop. Um, they try to make it a positive experience for you, which I can definitely say I had a good experience with them um, during that process. They kept me very informed. My recruiter was helpful. Overall, though, I have been at the job for six months. I am very happy. I enjoyed a lot. I get to touch a lot of different technologies that I didn't have access to before because I was working remote help desk. Um, so this was a big jump for me technically, I'm not gonna lie. I went from doing um, just your normal help desk work to now doing engineer level work at one of the biggest companies in the world <laughs> um, and working in their warehouses, which is an intense environment, especially around now. It's the holidays, it's a busy season for us. Um, so you do have to be on your P's and Q's, but I very much enjoyed the challenge. It's been a great role. So if you do have the opportunity to go for this role, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you guys do have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and thanks for watching.